So you heard that's that's the final straw, and that's the final straw that 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 deflated the hang, the camel's hump, right? I think that's a better saying than that's the last straw that broke the camel's back, because like imagery wise, I think it's it's a better image. It's more impactful to say that's the final straw that deflated the camel's hump, you know, Ca causing it to be as sa as saggy as a as a hev as a fat guy's second chin. It's got this poor camel's hump is sagging on the sagging like a second chin, and and you can't be a good camel without a hefty hard hump, you know. I mean, honestly, it, the the once mighty mighty hump now looks like a giant sagging cow teat for crying out loud sagging off the camel's back what have you done to my camel with that last straw that deflated the camel's hump the the teats are supposed to be on the belly of the beast not on its back poor thing looks like it just left some kind of gender affirming care clinic crying out loud you know that they, they made a new gender, apparently, which characteristically has one huge teat protruding from the dude X's back, I guess, is what they did to my camel with by deflating my camel's hump like that. Um, at, at least they didn't construct the new back teat by carving off the poor camel's left butt cheek, but still, I'm not a fan of this, my, this poor camel that... I don't, I don't care how many followers my camel has on TikTok with its new look, you know? I, although, if, if they do reinflate the hump with some, silic, with some silicone implant, if they put some silicone implant back into the saggy camel hump that got deflated by the last straw, the camel may be a little bit a little bit more comfortable to sit on you know it might be a little bit softer of a of a ride and that would be that would be nice that but i think the camel needs the hump uh to hold water i think there's like actually a functionality of the hump so that might not be so i'm guessing that a softer seat made from deflating the camel hump and then putting like silicone in it would come at the expense of limited distance travel between like water breaks, which, you know, there could be long distance, which is, you know, it's a big compromise when you're in the desert, which is usually when you're riding a camel, I would assume, uh, but it might be a little bit more comfortable. So you have the trade-off there.